Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very relaxing Tuesday back in the collection. Don't mind the noise in the background. I just got back from Las Vegas this morning and before I go ahead and teach my client of the day, I wanted my grandma to help me to do a clean with me video, in particular my beautiful Hoya Compacta. You can't see the length right now of how long it is, but if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know how precious and near and dear to my heart this beautiful Hoya Compacta Hindu rope is to me. It is taller and longer than me. In today's video, we're gonna do grandma's way of doing a clean with me for this Hoya. And after her watching my video of the painstaking, I swear, eight hours of me cleaning this by hand, my grandma has a better idea of what she wants to do for the Hoya. So grandma, do you wanna come on in and say hi to the channel? Hi. Well, this is a big job. And I figured the easy way is to soak it down so that we can get the dust out very easy and quick. So, this is what we're gonna do. Shoot so, them down. Yes, so we brought out the Hoya out here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grandma got me wet. Uh, we uh, brought the Hoya out here. We have it hanging on the tree and Grandma wants to go ahead and shoot the whole plant down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Looking good, Grandma. There's a lot of dust in all these yeah. little crevices. Grandma has the pressure on high. How's it going, Grandma? Good. going on? How's it going? Okay, so now it's time to cut some swab. To the little bits and pieces yeah. that the water couldn't catch. Right. But you can see major difference. All the dirt is somewhat off of the plant. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. It's so huge. Abby's like looking at this thing crazy. Okay, let's go take it to the table. Okay, so grandma is preparing the plant for its clean cleaning. Oh my goodness, grandma. It looks crazy on the table like that. Okay guys, so now that we have the Hoya Compacta on the Tiffany Blue table, literally we have to take everything off of the Tiffany Blue table to have this plant on here and we're gonna speed through this process so you don't have to watch us in real time clean this plant because if you watch my original clean with me for this particular plant when i first got it as a beautiful gift from my client tristan uh, i spent almost eight hours in two separate days so four hours four hours to clean this plant by hand and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a q-tip but this time i'm not gonna put anything on the q-tip because my grandma washed on this whole plant all of its parts of the plant is wet so we're just gonna go in um, each crevice one at a time and we're just gonna clean through the plant so I hope you guys enjoy this process I'm gonna speed it up probably four times faster than real time and you get to see us clean this whole plant so let's get started That's one thing that I did wrong then grandma is that yeah. I didn't wet the plant before cleaning it without thinking you just figure clean right that, that, that was the major thing so just literally going in on the plant yeah. and cleaning between each little crevice because if you look at the way how this Hoya grows, 
there's a lot of twists and turns here so i like using the q-tip um, as my uh hoya cleaning tip uh, as you can see the, the q-tip here is picking up all the dirt so this is like the perfect cleaning tool for hoya compacta and literally we're just going in on each little crevice here without ruining the plant and cleaning on all surfaces of this plant so i'm gonna speed through this process and try to not take hours uh, to take care of this plant but this is definitely something that i want to do for the plant at least twice a year but thanks to uh, grandma's uh, grandma's thanks to grandma's akamai tip <laughs> in hawaiian <laughs> smart uh, we decided to go with grandma's route of washing the whole plant down so it saves me from wetting the q-tips yeah and it gives it a nice shoot down which i think a lot of the dust actually came off grandma yes very much so and then we can just throw the q-tips in the trash so easy very easy look at it Too bad we cannot put, on, put her higher up. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you blow, all the dust go on her. Grandma, how's the Q-tip technique? Oh, super. Super easy and good. Because it's wet, you know, the, all the dust sticks. So this is a good time to check the health of the plant to see if there's any parts of the plant that should be taken care of if it's not happy, if there's a bug problem, I can catch it. But so far, this plant is pretty happy. And because grandma, you washed down the plant today, it got water today, so it won't get water for a while. But. Yeah, the, this Hoya hasn't been watered for a while, so it's fine to give it a wash down with some water. Look at this cute little trail, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I'll power it. plant is pretty clean from the yeah. the shoot down with the water but I did need to do a deep cleaning when I first got the plant that's for sure yeah. it was in dying need I don't of think a... they ever thought of doing this to me, you know no
the next time, you know, just shooting it down is a big help. So you think maybe we should shoot it down? Yeah. Like four times a year, every three months? Yeah. That we should stick it in. This is the most dirtiest one. Any bugs found? No, no bugs, but I guess because this was way down on the ground, it got all damaged. So I fucked it off. So this is what the Q-tip end looks like in certain parts of the plant that the plant is really dirty in the crevices so I love using the Q-tip method Okay grandma, how's it going? Very nice and we're spot Very checking happy. the whole plant I'm behind the camera to wrap up the video. Grandma, any closing thoughts on your technique on how you cleaned up the plant? I'm extremely happy that everything turned out super nice and beautiful. But we thought we would spend another five more hours, but we cut it down into less than that's an hour. So very easy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed seeing my grandma and I, or mostly my grandma, uh, cleaning my Hoya compact on my big Hindu rope, give this video a big Humpty. up. <laughs> if you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel Monday to Friday and the vlog channel Saturday to Sunday. You get a video each and every day. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye. Aloha.